what we've seen and heard on this series in TV measurement is that the marketplace is evolving. And we've heard that both from the buy side and sell side, and I'll say multiple players or, or roles on both the buy and sell side. Uh, and I think where that's leading to or, or part of the evolution is sort of less frequent silos, either from sort of the agency buying side or the actual media owner property selling side. And those changes are actually being led by proliferation of content and content delivery that are available to consumers today that weren't before and sort of simultaneously that the consumers are using those services. And kind of that increased usage coupled with marketers' desires to reach consumers effectively and cost efficiently, as well as sellers' desires to, uh, I'll say, monetize their inventory uh, as best they can is really kind of the trends that are pushing these changes. In order for there to be a currency, I think there's three areas that are really important to establish that currency. Uh, and you know, Comscore has, uh, I'd say, we've positioned ourselves to be sort of well situated in all three of those areas. So sort of one is, I'll say, measuring the impressions themselves. So part of the conversation in our series was you know, maybe a focus on impression-based measurement, which is common in the digital marketplace. It's, it's more emerging in television, but to measure those impressions that involves large scale data in both digital and television deliveries. And then on top of that large scale data, the ability to link and deduplicate those impressions, uh, which then gives advertisers uh, the intelligence about reach that they seek in, in really formulating their media plans. Uh, now, kind of the second area that I think is important is reporting the, for, for the currency is to report on ways that are relevant to the media transactions. So I'll say for most of the last 13 years, uh, video was primarily national television, and that was primarily judged by age, gender, demographics on average commercials within a program. Now, what's changing in the ecosystem is media sales, inventory sources, and insertion technologies are all evolving, and they're more varied. So this includes, I'll say, sources that have always been available, like local station inventory, MVPD inventory, and national network inventory wanting to be sort of more jointly evaluated. But then there are other more emergent sources like OTT and digital video where there's a desire to measure these all uh, in tandem. And you know, in kind of also in the series where you know, Larry Allen mentioned kind of national addressable. So this is really existing inventory or inventory that existed previously, but then having different insertion capabilities across that, that's all changing the nature of media transactions and reporting for though that sort of evolution, because there are different reporting needs to report across those inventory sources and across those insertion technologies. Uh, that's a, a key component of the currency to su support the commerce between the buy and sell side. Then I think a, a, third, uh, a third component is sort of describing those media transactions in detail uh, that the buy and sell side want. So a big component of the impression-based measurement is uh, having ubiquity uh, of the ad measurement across the different types of ad delivery. And then uh, on top of that impression-based measurement, decorating those with additional information uh, like advanced audiences uh, or other, I'll say, more bespoke or custom target definitions that are important to the buy side. On privacy, you know, there's uh, interesting components. So the, uh, let's say, the ability to target uh, 
target advertising, maybe disconnected from content uh, or less connected from content also has, you know, raises some new challenges. Like, well, how do you do that in a privacy safe way? And then from maybe an ad buyer's perspective, how do I know that uh, the, the ads being delivered are appropriate for my brand? So there, there's a couple of uh, solutions that Comscore has developed that span kind of, I'll say both measurement of ads and delivery of ads in this, uh, I'll say new, new ecosystem. So one is uh, on the measurement of ads, we have some intellectual property around both uh, our device graph, uh, which enables us to link television and other um, digitally delivered video for a deduplicated measurement. But then also we have intellectual property around device level deduplication of smart TV and set top boxes. So part of the, uh, uh, like a new challenge is that as there's different reporting technologies, uh, you could find yourself in a position where you have two different reporting uh, sources that are actually reporting on the same event. And that device level deduplication of smart TV and set top boxes enables those to be used in tandem while accounting for that deduplication. Now on you know, the decoupling of ads from content, which is uh, emerging, you know, brings up uh, I'll say brand safety considerations. Like, is this an appropriate uh, environment from the advertiser's perspective? And here kind of Comscore has developed some solutions for contextual targeting on connected TV video. And what's particularly a component of that that we're proud of is that these brand safety contextual targeting for connected TV span both on-demand assets and live streaming assets. So it's really going across the, uh, I'll say the continuum of content that's available across connected TV and bring that intelligence, which I think of, of brand safety which will help advertisers feel more comfortable about, I'll say, executing in a more programmatic environment. There are a, a variety of new challenges that have emerged uh, in the face of increased media fragmentation. Uh, now, one was really establishing maybe a more ubiquitous measurement across of ad delivery across different ad inventory types and delivery mechanisms. And so the marketplace sort of, uh, I'll say, gravitating towards impression-based measurement. Then uh, there are other challenges in terms of, uh, I'll say, data, data acquisition challenges. So having large scale data to measure this delivery, but then there are, you know, in the face of changes of the ad tech ecosystem, other initiatives that are going on in the marketplace. Uh, so the WFA has an initiative around cross-platform measurement, which uh, I'll say is engineered around trying to, to work around, uh, I'll say the, the absence or the anticipated absence of third-party cookies. So, so there's methods challenges, there's sort of, uh, I'll say data challenges. And then I also think there's going to be uh, different reporting views that will be needed to support different players in the ecosystem. So let's say uh, uh, an advertiser's view versus uh, a television network's view versus a digital media properties view versus uh, let's say an ad tech uh, inserter, they may have different views of the same sort of campaign that um, yeah, I'll say these needs are emerging related to kind of um, measuring cross-platform holistically. And then uh, I'll say an additional challenging dynamic, which also makes the, uh, makes being in the industry kind of fun and engaging is that there's likely gonna be continued innovations in consumer electronics and the way that consumers 
uh, access media that will impact um, impact measurement as we look out in the next five or 10 years. So uh, like we can think about the level of fragmentation that there is today in terms of different devices consumers can have, uh, whether those are OTT devices, personal devices like iPads or uh, smartphones, but then things may continue to evolve uh, in ways that will also change the ad ecosystem. So uh, that, that does make it sort of challenging, but also fun in terms of uh, providing solutions to the marketplace, which ultimately are uh, helpful to both advertisers and the media owners.